No, this isn't Fiddler Pond behind me. This is actually Shanklin Park, which has been overrun by flooding after recent winter weather. The National Weather Service says that the Elkhart River has reached a double crest. That means the water level has reduced, but it's rising again. Danny Sink, fire chief for the Goshen Fire Department, has the details. So it did, it crested um, around the 28th of February uh, in, in the morning, it crested again around March 6th and it's on the way down. He says that the flooding was worse in 2018 when the flood crested to 12 and a half feet. 2018 was a combination of frozen ground, a tremendous amount of snow, and then a tremendous amount of rain all at one time when the snow thaws. Now the city is doing what they can to keep the community safe amidst the flooding. Aaron Sawatsky Kingsley, director of the Department of Environmental Resilience, is leading the way with the flood resilience plan in Goshen. The, the flood plan specifies a number of different um, strategies that we need to be pursuing in order to prepare for flooding, to prepare for projected future flooding. He says that parts of the city are meant to see flooding. Those floodplains, they should have water in them whenever we have a flood event. Those, those floodplains, um, you know, were, were created over decades and centuries and, and even millennia as the places that flood water should go to. And so we want to see the, the water there when there's a flood. Sink, a longtime resident in Goshen, has seen the full effect of flooding. If you were born and raised here like myself, what you see in, like in Rogers Park right now and in Shanklin Park, what, what we're seeing now is not unusual for us. Although some flooding is normal, it's still important to do what you can to stay safe. Stay out of the water. Uh, that's, that's the main thing. Um, and, then, and then pay attention to the alerts that come out from the weather service um, that help us to, that help us to predict where flooding is going to be um, because that can help us to stay out of the way too. The real safety tip is just to be aware. Again, be plugged into social media, TV, radio. There's also a number to call. 911 will get the right agency. More information on the Flood Resilience Plan can be found on the Flood Zone page of the Goshen City website. A meeting is taking place to discuss the plan. And that'll be at Trock Pavilion uh, Thursday, March 16th. 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. The public are welcome to come. A gauge is located off the northeast corner of the Indiana Avenue Bridge by the Old Bag Factory. It shows the current level of the Elkhart River. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.